So basically currently exploring Sevilla and one of our top things to do here is to find all the delicious tapas bars, restaurants, all the best food. So here are our absolute favourite places for where to eat when you come to Sevilla. So we've just finished our lunch here at Contenedor, a beautiful restaurant here in Seville. The food was absolutely amazing. We had the nectar and salad and the vegan cannelloni full of flavour. Also had some delicious veggies on the side and it was kind of filled with mushrooms and like a coconut milk almost caramelised. I'm not entirely sure but it was delicious. And then the signature dish the crispy rice with the duck which was absolutely amazing. With like a kind of barbecue flavored sauce and almond and all sorts of delicious. Uh, I would love to have dessert, but I am way too full. The service has been so nice, and I think if you come to the bill, you definitely have to eat here. It's absolutely amazing. Do you agree? Definitely agree. <laughs> and yeah, so it's definitely one of my favorite food experiences so far here in Seville. One of our absolute favorite places is definitely Bodeguita Romero and here we had such a great night. So we actually got there early because the place gets really busy. It has lots of atmosphere with all of the people that are packed in there and they have some great dishes to try. We absolutely loved everything that we ate here. We loved the pork cheek, the spinach and chickpea stew, the pringa, the cheese cured in butter, just everything. But the surprise standout dish for us was actually the house marinated potatoes that are served cold. It was so delicious, they were full of flavour and definitely one of our favourite things we had there. Yeah, definitely. So another one of our favourite places to eat in Seville was a place called Aslava. So this is actually a restaurant as well as a tapas bar and they have two different menus depending on which part you go to. We just did the tapas bar, we sat at the bar and the food was so delicious. Here we absolutely loved the leeks the pork cheeks and for us definitely one of the standout dishes was the slow cooked egg on bolotus cake it was amazing yeah we love the feel of this place and it seemed a little bit less touristy so during your time in Seville I definitely recommend popping over to the Triana neighborhood it has some great restaurants and markets but one place that we absolutely loved was Blanca Paloma here we absolutely loved their specialty the house, the fried white anchovies, which had been marinated in lemon. They were just so good, we could have eaten a thousand more of them. So we had lunch at Blanca Paloma and it was really, really delicious. Yeah, and their specialty of the house, the fried anchovies were delicious. Really nice. We loved eating at Bodega Dosta Mayo, which is a beautiful tapas bar on the corner of a little square. It can get really busy here, so you can either choose to eat inside and just grab a table and order at the bar, or you can put your name down on a list outside and wait for an outdoor table and then you get table service. We tried quite a lot of dishes here, but our favourite was the pork loin and whiskey sauce. So we're just out exploring the Santa Cruz neighbourhood, which is the old Jewish quarter. Yeah, and we just had a little pit stop over at... Um... Uh, Bodega Santa Cruz, I think it's called. It's really cute, it's super busy. It was actually open in the normal siesta time where a lot of the other bars are shut, so that was great. We tried the Montaditos, the little sandwiches. Yeah. Where we had the house special, which is the Pringa. Yeah, which that was probably the highlight out of what we tried. A great place to come before you start exploring the Santa Cruz neighborhood. Another great place to eat is Duo Tapas in the Alameda neighborhood, which is a little bit more away from the main touristy spots, which is great. And you can definitely feel this when you're in the restaurant as opposed to a couple of others in Seville. And we really enjoyed it. Super popular, so make sure to make a reservation in advance. And here, even though it's more of a sit-down restaurant, they actually serve a range of different tapas dishes, both more modern and traditional. The service is really great here, super friendly, and we loved all the food we had, including the pork cheek, the chicken curry, the potato spravas, octopus, and tempura vegetables. Another spot that we'd heard quite a lot about was La Brunilda, and don't get me wrong, we really enjoyed the food that we had. For me, I really enjoyed the squid with migas. It was really nice, I mean, enjoyed everything that we had here, really. So even though we really enjoyed the food here, it definitely felt a lot more touristy than some of the other places we've mentioned. 
it really took away from the experience of actually being in Seville and experiencing the Spanish culture and the Spanish atmosphere and I feel that was really missing here. But the food was good though. So next up is Casa Morales. So this was a winery that dates back to 1850. It's a beautiful traditional tapas bar in Seville. Really takes you back in time. It's a great place to try all the different sherries and it has a really great atmosphere. And just across from Casa Morales is La Isla Friduria which is a really popular spot for fried fish. We love the adobo, which is marinated fried fish. It was delicious. So if you're looking for a great place to have breakfast in Seville or somewhere where you can find really delicious churros, then we definitely recommend Bar El Comercio. So not only do they have what we think are the best churros in Seville, but probably they're the best churros that we've tasted in Spain. Yeah, that was so nice. Yeah, they weren't too sweet, they weren't too oily. You can get them with chocolate or just by themselves or with sugar. And to round off the breakfast experience, you can also get a freshly squeezed orange juice, a good cafe con leche and a tortilla. And if you still have some more coffee, a great spot that we found was Virgin Coffee. More of a takeaway spot, but the coffee is great. If you're looking for some sweets in Seville, you can try Confiteria La Campana. So this is a traditional confiteria that was founded in 1885. It's filled with traditional cakes and pastries. You can eat them there at the counter or take them away. We enjoyed the Bamba Donata, but what we loved most was seeing the traditional store and experiencing it for ourselves. So Seville also has some really great food markets and one of our favourite places to eat was actually La Cantina which is at the Feria Market. So this is a really popular place to eat seafood tapas. Another local drink you can try here is orange wine which is really nice. So we hope you guys really enjoyed this food guide to Seville. If you did we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. We absolutely love eating our way through Seville and we hope you guys do too. If you want any details of the places mentioned in this video, we have a full blog post linked below in the description box on our blog at almostlearning.com. If you're not already subscribed, we'd really love if you subscribed and we'll catch you in the next episode of this Spain series, which we will be doing a full guide to Seville. And if you want to catch any of our other episodes in our South of Spain series, we have all of our episodes linked in the description box below. See you guys next time. This is our first afternoon here in Sevilla and it's absolutely stunning. We've walked through some of the neighborhoods and areas. Yeah. We've seen the